Welcome back. You're watching Vaticano. We're here in the German school of Rome, known locally as the Scuola Germanica Roma. The school, albeit German, is well integrated into the Eternal City. German and Italian students alike learn here from kindergarten up to high school. The German school has historic roots. The history begins about 160 years ago, and it was founded for the German community here, which was living in Rome. In the course of the years, our image has changed a little, obviously. Today, the school is the central place among the schools abroad and the diplomatic office, and is called a school of encounter. Here, the main goal is to teach children from Italy at this school and to create a more fruitful encounter between the German and the Italian culture. And also, to keep German culture present here at this place, this historic place, this important place, which is the capital of Italy. This particular day, a special guest is expected. The man in the Vatican, a German himself, in charge of protecting the Catholic faith. We are very happy to receive His Eminence Cardinal Müller at our German school. We are happy to have a discussion with the Cardinal about how it can be achieved that we can live our Christian faith more fully and show it. I'm convinced that we don't need to hide it. The Cardinal had the chance to visit the three sections of the school, much to the delight of the children and the teachers. There exist pretty good contacts to the church. Also, our students are very active in them. For example, as altar servers in Catholic parishes here, where they also went to First Communion and Confirmation. And some of them, therefore, will also know the Cardinal, since some of them he confirmed in the Church de Anima. But also now, during the papal visit in the Lutheran community of Rome, the students were present and did the readings. So the contact with the churches is very real. The Cardinal was then received in the school's Great Hall, where he was greeted with some piano music. Then the students asked him questions in a discussion. He emphasized the importance of religious education for children. In a secularized society, there is nobody who can explain the meaning of our life to us. Nobody in politics feels responsible for that. Science, natural science that is, cannot give an answer, because it is God who is the one who gives us the deepest horizon, who reveals the deepest mystery of being, and he cannot be reduced to a simple reality, which is put on top of a secular world. He really discloses something that was previously hidden. It was a special day for the children at school, and not just because there was no class.